Police officers often don't know what they're getting themselves into when they're on the streets. Yes, yeah, sometimes they are faced with having to make life-changing decisions in just a split second. Today, News 6 reporter Mark Lehman got a chance to see what it's like to walk in an Orlando police officer's shoes. Go ahead and put that in the holster. Yep. With a training gun in holster, I get a quick brief from Orlando police. So it's just a domestic where one person is called saying that his girlfriend stabbed him. Then we're immediately thrown into the real life scenario. Do you need any help? No, I got stabbed, but I'm okay. I think I'm going to make it. This man saying he got into a fight with his girlfriend who starts screaming and runs off. Ma'am, I, mean, I love you. Ma'am, stop, stop where you're at. It's when I go after her, I quickly find myself on the receiving end of gunfire. It was designed specifically for you guys to let you understand how quickly something can go bad. Orlando police say their officers encounter situations like this every day and wanted to show us what it's like to walk in their shoes. Watch how quickly a call for a burglary turns into an ambush. On the ground, On the ground right now. Okay, let's go, dude. Yo, let's go. Spread. See you, stop. That's why OPD says their officers receive continuous training like this with the goal of maintaining control and using necessary force. There are tons of variables that we have to deal with, and I think if the public understood that, they may look at some of the issues that we deal with on a day-to-day -day basis a little bit differently. But while these situations look and feel realistic, Police say it's no substitution for the experience their officers get every day. I have the ability in a training scenario to blow the whistle and stop the action. And in the field, when we're encountering an event, I don't have anybody blowing a whistle. In Orlando, Mark Lehman, News 6.